guys, my poor Max. Um, we went to the vet again yesterday, was it? I think it was Thursday or something, Friday, I don't know. But we went there because his snot thing hasn't gotten any better. And today I'm petting him and I noticed where they shaved his arm, where the IV site was, he's licked it raw. It's missing all of his skin. And so I know he needs it to be wrapped because a comb wouldn't work for that and it also needs to be covered so it's not gonna get infected. I went, I just went in the Target like for like five minutes, left Max in here with all the windows open. I don't like leaving him in the car. Pretty sure it's illegal in Florida, but um, I just had to go in and get he told me to get like Neosporin. Like, are you sure? He just told me not to use this, but I looked it up and it was safe on cats as long as it doesn't have the healing stuff. I got this tape stuff just in case. Um, but I got him this wrap. It's just be stuff adhesive. So I imagine if we cut it in half, it'd fit him or whatever. I got him red. There wasn't blue. There was only kind of colors, but they were all gone. Um, but red will be cute. I don't know, you gotta make it fun, right? Hi, baby. Oh, there it is. Yep. Yes. It shouldn't still be there. And you you know, got red? And so the tip of his tail was broken at one time. You feel it? Yeah. Or it's a kink, because Siamese get kinks. It is. A, it could be a kink. Oh, baby. Trying to get away? Shedding everywhere. What is that thing on your arm? This is a jacket. I'm sorry, our house is a mess. We're in the process of moving. Oh! Poor baby! He's trying to lick it. We're gonna get you better, okay? It's only because I love you. Luckily, our rescue was able to just wrap it and put some neosporin on it so uh sorry i have three flights of stairs up to my apartment so that just takes me out of breath especially when i'm carrying a cat and other things hey do you want some treats you want some treats somebody suggested we do give max the rising I give maxillizing. So I actually say we a lot of times when I am including the kitties, but hey. I know it's gonna be so annoying. Do you like treats? These are real good for cats that have um a lot of sneezing and well, after you get them, if your cat's sneezing, another thing you should get them checked out for upper respiratory. And then if they don't have up, upper respiratory, but they have like the feline herpes, which is different than human herpes. I mean, it manifests differently. But, um, or it has chronic sinusitis like Max. Which I'm really sad that the thing hasn't improved. He's got snot boogers all over my new bedspread. I was hoping he'd be better when he got back, but I'm not going to keep him off my bed. I can just wash it. But. Oopsies. He's a skinny cat. I was only giving him like five or six. You six bites a day. But you can give it twice daily for active, which I guess is what he's supposed to have. These are the only ones he really likes. There's another other brand, but they're really... Oh, they smell gross to me, too. And then the stuff, if you put it on his food, he won't eat it. Or, is, that, is there one in water? I don't know. I haven't tried water yet. Look at my poor baby. We'll keep you updated. 